Hey Floss Tube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 53. If you're new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitching. Sit back, enjoy, relax, check it out. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Um, again, you are uh, flooding me with all kinds of love and I appreciate that. Um, this is gonna be a different episode this time. So I'm not gonna show you what I've been working on this week. Next week will be just a twofer. But um, I had talked about going into what is referred to as the under the bed box and cross stitching. That's not where mine's stored, but same thing. I still have a plastic tote that I store things. Um, so we're gonna dig into that after I make two announcements. First off, if um, the, I last year, let me look for it, did a cross stitch challenge in a, in a group on Facebook called the embroidery.com. I'm going to put a picture of it here. And there's rules and commitments of like stitching every day, how you have to post on there every day, 30 minutes of stitching a day. And last year I received this really cute witchy stitchy needle miter. They're doing it again. There are a few t twists and turns into it. It's not hard. So if you do Facebook at all, I um, put a before picture and after picture. I think you put like day one of 31, day two of 31. And you also put like who the design, the chart and who the designer is. So, and then there's some spins that they turned into it this year. Like you must stitch on the 31st and like, I don't know if the other ones are bonus, but go watch her video, join the group um, if you're interested. You get a free needle miner if you complete the challenge. So, um, but you gotta do it like they say. So if you're interested in that at all, go check it out, embroidery.com. It's a Facebook group. Again, um, I already put the picture in. The second thing is, is I watch Sassy Jack's um, YouTube channel, Floss Tube, and she talked about, that this will be the th third or fourth year, I've never partaken in this before, but I will be, um, of like if you stitch an ornament up and send it to them, they um, just decorated a tree in their shop. But their goal is to eventually get enough ornaments to decorate a tree in like an assisted living or something. If you listen to her last video again, Sassy Jacks, she talks about it. So um, I will be playing along with that for this year. So um, just a couple of things off the top. Other than that, um, I did get normal stitching done and I'll show that next week. And um, I had my girls weekend. I literally am fresh back. This is the non, non uh, fixed up, non showered, that's the word to say, version of me. But I wanted to make sure that I got on here because I actually was scared that people would worry in regards to if I didn't show up what was going on with my dad and there's been no changes so um, so there's that but anyway on to what you're here for stitching so what I have is my under the bed box slash plastic tote and some of them have some really good stories like the first one that I'm going to show you I really like this content when I stitched it and I don't know some of them will tell you when I stitched them I stitched this in 2006 um, I didn't know what I was, I, I like the color changes, but this doesn't fit in my decor anymore or ever. These are unfinished projects. So because nice matters, which wow, if that's not fitting in 2020, but this beautiful thing is gonna stay under my box, in my under the bed box because it doesn't fit with anything in my house. So um, that kind of makes me sad, but it was fun to stitch and I changed it. I don't even, some of these I will not remember. I did not keep track of who the designers were and and all the things. So there is that one. The next one I do know is the Mirabilia. I probably have shown that. Some of these sprinkled in here are gonna be ones I've shown before. And I'm only doing potentially half of the box today because I'm gonna save the other box for another, half for the other time and I didn't want this to be super long. So this is the Mirabilia called Circle of Friends. My first time stitching on dark fabric. It was a struggle for me, but I did it. And it was also my very first, and it's not even close, but at the time I thought it was a close call on the borders. And it's not, <laughs> it's not. I was so scared. I was at a retreat and I was so scared that I stitched this girl all the way down to her toes so that I knew I would have enough. So anyway, love her. I need to get this one framed and put up. 
I, there's three of us sisters and I actually don't call this the circle of friends. I call it my sister's piece. So there you go. And again, these, none of these are ironed and I don't have a piece of nothing to put behind it. If I, it's really bad, I'll struggle and find something here in my sitting area. This one is a, I believe, poly, Paul stitch. I don't know. Um, love me, love me not, tis not matter, I'm all you got. This will be a struggle reading some of these because this is backwards to me, to you it's perfect, but fun, 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 and fun var variegated uh, fabric to do it on. So this one I believe is a shepherd's bush, be nice, or not be nice, be happy. <laughs> I don't know. I think I have be nice to stitch and I haven't done it yet. Super big. Can you see that? Super big. Probably a, a 11. But, and these are beads? No, nope. these are beads. <laughs> I'm messing myself up on this video. So there's that. This is one of those um, free charts from just, it's, the chart's free, but you have to buy the put, button pack in order to get the free chart. So from just another button company, flip flops flip-flop days, excuse me. And see, that's a button, 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 button. So again, super fun. This should be stitched into like a pillow and out for the season. I just need to, I need to take a week where I don't stitch. That's not happening, not happening. And finish stuff, but some of them I don't know how I wanna finish. Like this right here, I don't know how I wanna finish it. A year full of happies. This was super fun to stitch, but I don't know how I want to finish it. I want it, I feel like it would make a beautiful wall hanging. And I think, look, it would look good in this room too, but um, that's not really in my skill set. I would have to learn. And I don't know if like the finishers at Keepsakes do wall hanging. So if, you, if they do and you know, let me know. Or if there's somebody at Craft Gallery that does finishing like that, then let me know. <laughs> my local store doesn't do anything but frames. Um, Al Forest Embroideries, um, Oz, The Wizard of Oz. We, I, you guys watched me stitch this. Again, don't know what I want to do for finishing of it. Some of them are just really the process of stitching. and You hear other stitchers talk about that. So um, here right now, I've been super laser focused in um, stitching pieces that I want to use for decoration in my house. And this is one of those, but it's not fully finished. Um, Caterpillar Cross Stitches, Hello pumpkin it is not it is hello pumpkin and I'm signed up for the the new deer one that's gonna come out because all four she's gonna do all four of these seasons and I think that I could just swap them out I'd like that to be like in a bigger frame and just pop it out so this one should be stitched should be finished probably in a long pillow for next month hocus pocus you've seen you saw this if you've been with me for a while waxy moon designs some of them I'll know, some of them I won't. This one right here is, Julie, yell it at me right now. I know you are, because I stitched this because of you. Who is this designer? I love you to the moon and back, um, and more than all the stars in the sky. I love this piece. And why can't I think of who it is? I don't know, see? Help each other out if you can remember. Julie, put it in the comments. If somebody needs to know that, then they can buzz through the comments. Another one of the button packs from Just Another Button Company. Open a new box daily. Those buttons are super cute. Stitched it in 2008. Super cute. I don't know who this is, but it, it encompasses me. The simple things, flowers, friendship, chocolate, tea, books, love, cross-stitch, sun, making me, make me happy. This is on a piece of fabric that I dyed. Do you, can you see the green? You can now. Um, again, I don't know that it fits a single thing in my life for me to fully finish it, but I feel like that should be done something too. This next one is Joan Elliott's, um, the Stitching Fairy, I believe is her name. Um, I, this book was actually, I won it in a thing at my cross stitch retreat and it was a signed copy of this. So super fun. And I love this. This was my first ever Joan Elliott that I stitched. So super cute, but not fully finished. This one again should be out. My sister and I stitched it along. If the shoe fits, wear it. And that's a sparkly fabric. I need to, this is why it's not finished. 
part of why it's not fixed. Oh, this is, so that other one about um, he loves me, he loves me not was the Sue Hillis Designs. But do you see that ribbon? Because I've been lazy and I've not read the directions on finishing that way. And I just want it with funky fabric around the edges, like probably in a flat fold. Again, another challenge. And I altered this a little bit, but this is a um, prairie fort, prairie, prairie forest, <laughs> prairie schooler um, that I helped somebody on Instagram did a color change and I got a hold of her and asked if it was okay if I used her conversion. She said yes, and I love it. I love how this turned out. And look, I need to fully finish this because there's a chunk of fabric at the bottom that I can use. Mm. My Harry Potter that you watched me stitch every single day until it was finished. Beautiful little crest. Love it. Love it, love it. It could go be like right back here sitting with my Harry Potter books. Anyway, uh, I don't remember this designer, but I know that Pam mentioned her in a video, one or two, Pam and Steph, Pam mentioned it in a video a couple weeks ago. Um, I have several of her designs and I've don't, I've given them away to ones I wouldn't stitch to a, a stitcher, one of those um, unicorn chart things. Um, carrot cake, my mama and dad's favorite carrot cake. So this is just a skinny little thing. Another same designer, cupcake. I wish I could think of her name right now, but I can't, but she doesn't design anymore. And I don't think her charts are just like if you kind of can find them, which I don't believe is easy to do. So this was a series, again, don't know who it was, but uh, because I said so, love mom. These were intended to be stitched to put in my daughter's room when she was little. She's 20 now. She does not want this decor. Um, is your homework done? Love mom. And clean your room. Love mom. These are pink. It's not showing on this at all, but it is a cute little pink. But what am I doing with those? My daughter's passed that to Asian life. What am I doing with those? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I stitched this a super long time ago. Peace, love, and a cure. Sometimes I dated these things and sometimes I didn't. I have a box down here that I'm putting them back into. <laughs> so if you think you're like, is she just throwing those? Wild child, super cute, fast, silly little stitch, but look at that. Look at that button. It was crazy. I loved it. Loved it. That's that. I'm getting to the end of these. This is going to be a short one. I probably have another half a box, but I didn't know if people wanted to just sit and look at these when I really don't have the information on them. I'm sure this is a Lizzie Kate, and I cannot read all of that backwards to you, so 100, almost, skip it out, 100 years from now, I... It will not matter what kind of car I drove, what kind of house I lived in, or how much money was in my bank account. I had in my bank account. Nor what my clothes look like, but the world may be a better place because I, in, because I was important in the life of a child. And you know what? I don't take this as just my own child. I have beautiful little children in this neighborhood that I live in that... Um, Sometimes they just need a hug and they just need some love and you never know what that's going to do to a kid as they get older. So, um, you've seen me finish this one. Another Sue Hillis Designs. It's really hard to see in here. In person, you can see this perfectly fine. So, always wear cute pajamas. You never know who you might meet in your dreams. Um, it's a super cute. Oh, it's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Again, I think my daughter said she wanted it. I don't know if she still does. Probably not. She's 20. What am I thinking? All right. Another Lizzie Kate. Big old one. The ABCs. I think it's AB size of life. Um, I'm going to, you've probably seen this before. Again, I'm going to look at it and then I'm going to look down. That's too much for me to look over my shoulder. So, um, accept differences, be kind, count your blessings, dream, express thanks, forgive, give freely, um, harm no one, inspire hope, judgment, keep confidence, love truly, master something, nurture friendships, open your heart, play, quietly, quiet fears, um, reciprocate, scatter joy, treasure family, understand, value the truth, waste nothing, exercise, yearn for peace, and zestfully support a worthy cause. This needs hung up in my house somewhere. I was on a kick for a long time on Lizzie Kate's and like 
I felt like words were everywhere and I'm like people don't want to read all the time when they're in my house <laughs> so that's why it stayed in the box but um Cinderella is my absolute favorite princess I stitched her up I was supposed to do some of the other princess my daughter was way into princesses of course um, I cannot even even through my bifocals I can't figure out what that says I can't I can't even read what it says for the date or the initials I stitched this piece two times one I gave to a wonderful friend that was working here and retired and went back to Georgia with his family um, again Lizzie Kate you can almost pick it out but this was a one over one for the first time so happy times praise God difficult times seek God quiet times worship God hard times trust God all times thank God I love this little piece and it'd be such a cute little tiny um, finished up thing and I actually want this I think in a super tiny frame I think last one for today um, is I don't know who this designer is Sam Sarah I think that's who it is I will always be a wildflower I this was fun to stitch fun to stitch and I think I would have had it would have been super cute if it was over one but I wasn't into that so and I teeter totty back and forth between that as you know even my counts of fabric I teeter taught back and forth on what I want to do but that's all that I have for today I do have about another half of a box but they're more recent ones that you've probably seen um, and I have shown you I'm looking around because I have stitched pieces that are just hanging in my rooms too so but I will share those with you at a different time I told my daughter I was gonna try to cram the whole box in today and she's like mom be kind to yourself and save half of the box because you may need to want to do one of these videos in the future when I need a week off from grandpa stuff so I'm going to take my wise 20 year old child's advice and I'm giving you half of it now, but I will come back at you. I have been stitching daily on my, um, home sweet home, Al Forst embroidery. I have stayed up on my one nation. Um, but I, I have a couple other pieces that I have stitched on and worked on, but I will come at you next week with that update and it will be spectacular. So, um, that's all I've got for you at this time. Um, so Again, thank you for all the love and support, and uh, I am, I appreciate my girlfriend for getting out and doing some girlfriend time this weekend. I slept great, but my back hurts a little bit. I'm old for sleeping in a camper, but it was a wonderful time. And um, so thank you for that. And that's all I got for you. So keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm sending you much love. Bye.